Hello and welcome in this session we are going to learn some basics about uh, how do we analyze a query with explain and try to understand what can be done further from there. So we are just uh, going to see what are the some basic details about the explain. So I just uh, uh, tell you a basic situation wherein I have a table with uh, let's say hundreds of thousands of rows. And when I am trying to find, uh, when I am trying to execute a select a, a query on the table, it is going to take a huge amount of time. The time uh, which it, it is taking to execute the query, it, it is not the optimal time. So it is not taking the optimal time. So what is that we can do in that situation? So in that situation, we are going to analyze the query with the explain. So before we understand what is explained, we need to understand what is a planner or the optimizer. The planner or, or an optimizer in PostgreSQL, it creates an optimal execution plan. So when an a, a SQL query execute, then there will be different uh, execution path and the task of the planner of the optimizer is to choose the optimal plan so that the amount of time spent on the execution is less and the amount of the cost which is incurred on execution of the query should also be lesser. So this is what the planner or the op optimizer do. So it creates an uh, optimal execution plan. So if we if we see what is an explain do in PostgreSQL, so the ex, uh, the explain it uh, returns the execution plan which PostgreSQL generates for a given statement, right? So when the when you uh, execute an SQL uh, statement using the explain. So what it will do is it will show you how the SQL statement has been executed. Uh, say for an example, I have a table with the name uh, uh, actor and it has hundreds of thousands of rows. And if I just say select a star from the actor where some particular uh, actor ID is equal to this. So in that case, how the SQL statement is going to be executed. It, it is going for the index scan or is it going to scan the entire table which is the sequential uh, scan. So this is just one of the basic example and in case it is a complex query which is which is obvious in a, in a production environment and if multiple tables are involved then what kind of join algorith algorithm will be used that is mentioned all there in the SQL query and when you try to generate and explain that will show you some more details and you can try to find out what is the SQL statement which is taking more time which is which you assume it is an unusual time which can be tuned. So explain will give you just the cost and the uh, estimation of the amount of time which is which is going to be incurred on that. So basically we'll say explain it shows the execution plan of the statement and if there are multiple tables uh, involved then it will show you what is the best algorithm which is going to be executed by the execution plan and uh, from there you can try to find some meaningful information. And the most critical part of the display is the, the, the cost. If you think the cost, but this is not also the thumb rule. If the cost is less, that doesn't necessarily means the your SQL uh, query is doing great, but sometimes it is uh, misleading as well. So it is all a hit and trial. Sometimes uh, the thumb rule works, sometimes it doesn't work. So, so it, it works in that way. Okay, so there is one more uh, thing when we try to execute an SQL statement with uh, the uh, with the explain, you can use uh, the keyword analyze also. So what analyze will do is it will actually uh, execute the SQL statement. So you have to be very cautious when you are trying to explain uh, an SQL query along with the analyze because analyze is going to actually execute the SQL statement and this is the format we can say begin if you wanted to put in a blocks and explain and you put analyze and let's say select a star from actor so you can do it like this so let me show you I have a table with the name uh, actor 
and if you try to execute the SQL statement like this so you will be seeing something like this so I have executed explain analyze verbose buffer select star from actor so what it is doing it is doing the sequential scan on the table actor it is there in the public schema and it is showing you the cost it is showing you the row it is showing you the width it is showing you the actual time it is showing you how many number of rows will be uh, returned and it is showing you how many times uh, the iteration will be there it is just one and output in output what will be there it will be one two three and four columns are there and uh, in buffers because i have given the option of buffers also it has given the shared hit is equal to two so we will see what are the different options available when you execute the explain so this is the command which we have executed the first option which you can see it is analyze so what it will do is it is going to be actually executing the sql statement so if it is just a select it makes sense to some extent but if it is insert update delete so you have to be cautious because just for testing purpose wherein you are trying to find out what is the cost and the execution time this may be disastrous if it is if it is just for the testing purpose verbose it is it is something which you would have seen earlier also this is going to display the additional information on the screen when the execution output is there so this will sometimes help you cost this is something which is always meaningful but not the thumb rule wherein a small cost is is the best optimized uh, query so we'll say uh, cost it gives the information related to the startup and the total cost of each plan node right by default this parameter is set to true even if you don't mention this cost it is going to show you the details verbose it is false by uh, by default analyze is also false by default this is important information which is related to the buffer by default it is false and it is specifies the number of shared block hit you can say the read dotted and uh, the return right and for this uh, you should have the track io timing enabled in your postgresql.conf if you see there is a hit that means the read was avoided because the block was there in the cache and a shared block contains data from uh, uh, from the tables and the indexes so that that's how it it actually uh, buffer helps in you in uh, some sort of identification wall and these things i believe they are they they are available from version 12 and uh, they are available in 13 timing also gives you some some information by default it is set to true because this is something which will be always available wall it is set to false so uh, it includes the number of the wall records which will be generated summary it will show you the summarized output and format by default uh, is set to uh, to text and uh, let us go back to the statement so we just executed explain uh, analyze select star from actor where actor id is greater than 10. so our table is something like this we are not doing any tuning on this this is just like uh, so we have some 200 rows in this and we said uh, explain analyze select a star from actor where actor id is greater than 10. so it is going to do a sequential scan on the table actor the cost is the startup and uh, the uh, this is 4.50 the number of rows will which, which will be returned is 190 the width of this is 25 actual time which is a stand is point is between 0 0.014 milliseconds to 0 0.133 milliseconds and the rows returned uh, will be 190 there will be just one iteration one loop and rows which are removed by the filter since we have uh, put a filter which is greater than 10 so 10 rows will be removed other than that all our rows are getting uh, displayed so if you say planning uh, time it is 0 0.06 and uh, the the actual execution time is 0 0.28 
So this is the uh, the time which is spent on planning, like how uh, this SQL statement is going to be executed. So once the planning is done, the, then the execution happens. So this is how basically explain can be used. This is just the basic. This, this doesn't talk about the details, but this is just like how can you use the begin, uh, sorry, explain in your SQL statement to to find out if there are some issues with the SQL statement which can be rectified uh, either by creating the index or removing the index or uh, using some kind of hint or partitioning. So the two important factors in this will be the execution time and the cost. I hope this basic is going to help you. Thank you.